I have been on the sick and shut in list. You know, everybody got a sick and shut in list at their church. And I've been on the sick and shut in list. And these are my sick and shut in twists that I have. I simply just parted my hair in fours. And I made sure it was moisturized real good because I knew I wasn't going to be doing anything to my hair. So I'm going to go through my hair and I'm going to shampoo my hair. And I'm going to be using Aunt Jackie's uh, Also Clean. Let's see. Aunt Jackie's Also Clean Moisturizing and Softening Shampoo. Deep moisturizing detangler hair bath for chronically dry hair for natural curls, coils, and waves. Enrich with shea butter and olive oil. I'm going to use this. Okay, and then after I do that, I'm going to fix my hair with, that's what it's called, fix my hair. And it's an intensive repair conditioning mask um, enriched with flaxseed, mango butter, shea butter, avocado, and coconut oil for dry, damaged hair and protective styling. So now it's time to shampoo my scalp because if you want your hair to grow, you really need to make sure you're taking care of that scalp. That's very important. I'm making sure that I got all the twist out because the worst thing you can do is go in with your shampoo brush you y'all see any no I don't feel any either but look at that shine and that definition that's really good I like that I like that a lot Mm. So, I am still going to shampoo and deep condition my hair because I skipped it on Sunday. Sunday is my hair spa day and I skipped it because I was not feeling good at all. So, my hair deserves some pretty good attention right now. My scalp. It, I don't have dandruff or anything like that, but this is where your hair grows from. And if it starts feeling a little dry and everything, yeah, this could look good. But if the scalp ain't feeling good, your hair is not going to grow. You got to take care of your hair. You got to take care of your scalp, especially, and make sure the ends of your hair are always clipped. So... I'm done rambling. The growth is real. Look how thick it is. Ooh. Mm. Mm. So for my styler, I have some Seal It Up Hydrating Sealing Butter. And I have some Curl A La for natural curls, curl coils and waves, and rich with shea butter and olive oil. Say goodbye to Frizz, because this is going to be a twist out that I'm doing. So I'm going to use the Curl A La as my styler I'm going to seal it in with the seal it up and this is all on Jackie's all on Jackie's as a matter of fact I'm going to use her leave-in conditioner I like this leave-in conditioner quench it's moisture intensive leave-in conditioner Ultra hydrating deep moisture therapy for parched tresses. 
but natural curls, coils, and waves enriched with shea butter and olive oil. Yeah, so this is gonna be my leave in. Hey guys, I'm back. Hair has been shampooed oh so clean. Oh so clean. You know, I used my shampoo brush, got that scalp. The blood was circulating, blood was circulating. Then I went in with the fix my hair, left it in for about 20 minutes, and I cool water rinsed it out. I do not use hot water to rinse my hair out because it closed the cuticles and you're not going to get any of that, that deep conditioner. So use cool water to rinse your hair out, period, so that it can absorb the, what you're trying to get in it. Tip number one. Tip number two, hurry up and do something with your hair when you when you finish washing. I'm going to part my hair, put my hair in sections, and these are the sections I'm going to work in. I'm putting my twist up as a protective style twist because low manipulation to your hair is what helps your hair grow. So if I decide to do a twist out, I can do a twist out, but it can be in a style. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Okay, you see what I'm saying. So, tip number three, work in sections. It makes it a whole lot easier. It may seem tedious, but it makes working on your hair a whole lot easier. Tip number three, which I do off camera, is I start in the back of my hair first when I'm doing a protective style, especially with braids, because your arms are going to get tired, then the hairstyle is going to start looking lazy because your arms are tired and you weren't able to give it a hundred percent. So, now you know. And tip number, what, four? If you don't feel like doing your hair, don't do your hair. Because it's gonna show that you didn't wanna do your hair when you did it. It's not gonna be neat. It's not gonna be parted correctly. It's just not, it's just not. Try to make your sections even. When you're putting up your protective style, try to make your sections even. And if you're putting up a protective style and waiting for um, to take the twist out to make a twist out, you know, then what you want to do is go ahead and have your braids or your twist going in the direction that you want it to. So you don't have to worry about manipulating it, trying to get a style. Your hair is already put in twists or braids, they're already in there. So we're going to get started. I'm going to start at the back of my head. I'm going to speed up the video. I'm going to do one showing you guys how I layer the products, how I'm going to layer the products, and then I'm speeding up the rest of the video. Okay? So, LCO method. That's what we're going in. My L is going to be a leave-in conditioner quench. And I'm doing this to each section of my hair. If you notice, I didn't put the leave-in conditioner over my whole head because I want to make sure 
Every strand of my hair is coated in the I don't miss a section. So I just take it and work it in. At the same time, be filling your ends. Seeing if they feel rugged enough, if they feel ratchet, or if your cords don't want to cord and they look kind of iffy, then what you can do is get you some shears some Annie shears, which is affordable. Or if you want to be fancy, you can get you some fancy shears. But I have Annie shears and I clip my ends. Once I get the twist up. Yes, so detangled, L is in. My cream is going to be the curl a la. I can get it open. All of this, all of the products smell the same. It's not a bad smell, but there's a perfume in it. I can't describe what it is. But it's, it's, it has to be a mixture of the shea butter and the olive oil. Since it's enriched with that. The consistency is a custard. Well, yeah, it's a defined curry custard. So it's a custard. This is the consistency. It's like a, just a creamy custard. And I add that to that section of the hair. And if you don't feel like you added enough, add some more. Just add some more. That's all you gotta do. Add some more. Make sure my hair is still detangled, which it is. Then I'm going to seal it in. Where is it? Seal it up with flaxseed. Recipes. Oh, hydrating sealing butter. So we're going to seal this up once I get the top off. Now, the consistency of this is like a thick custard. The other one was softer, but this one is a thick custard. Look at that. Don't even want to leave my finger. It's thick. Rub that custard together. Hit the back side. Rake it all through your hair. Okay, now we're closer. And every time I add a product, I still go in and brush to make sure it's still detangled. But sometimes my curls, I say my curls, will start to lock up. And that ain't what you want. So on this part, you can use a brush, you can use a fine tooth comb, you just want to go through, make sure it's smooth, everything is good, you divide it equally, and twist. And at the top, I always twist tight, but not tight enough where it's pulling on my scalp. I twist the hair tight, not my scalp. When you get down towards the end, get your little comb. Sometimes you don't even have to use a comb and just core your ends. <laughs>
tail back here it didn't coil as tight as the other one did there's nothing wrong with the ends it's just a little fatter so I put a rubber band on it to secure it to make sure it don't come down another tip shampoo condition and deep condition your hair co-wash I ain't, I'm not with it. I'm just not with it. My, if my hair has buildup on it and has other products on it, and a co-wash just don't get it from me. Shampoo your scalp. Shampoo your hair strands. Use shampoos that are moisturizing. Shampoos that are help your hair and your hair growth, like Biotin Boost. Shampoos like... Um, like this on Jackie's, oh so clean. It's a moisturizing and softening shampoo. Use a shampoo. Don't go around co-washing your hair. It just, I, that's something that natural hair community does, but it's not something that I do. So if you, if that could be a tip that you can take or you can leave. But I shampoo my hair condition my hair and deep condition my hair every Sunday and if I want to change my hairstyle up and wear something different then guess what I'm shampooing my hair again now I'm not saying shampoo with a clarifying shampoo every time you shampoo your hair my biotin boost is gentle enough where you can shampoo your hair several times in a week but you have to make sure your hair is being moisturized properly. So that is a tip and deep condition your hair. Deep condition your hair. If you don't like to set it in a dryer, do like I do. Go on Evolve or go on Amazon Evolve and get the deep conditioning cap. And it just heats up while your hair is under there. It, it's deep conditioning. My hair is healthy. It is grow it has grown a lot and I took tips from this person this person this person this person this person mm -hmm. and I say come up with your own regimen I did this 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 and I did it consistently and the proof is in the pudding the proof is in the pudding okay so I'm gonna close out this video if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. I hope some of these tips have helped y'all out. Ah, tried to pop my finger, but I can't. Ugh, I'm weak. Oh, oh, I'm weak. Anyway, so um, keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, the real McCoy411. It's only one, the real McCoy411. That me, that me right there. So y'all go ahead and follow me over there. I got to build up over there. I really don't. I'm trying to build up, build, build, build. Okay, so um, I check out later though. My hair done. It's finished. This, this is it. And tonight when I go to bed, I'll get those little scrunchies and tie it like twice. Do I have a scrunchie in here? No. I'll tie it like twice where it won't leave. It won't leave an indention. That's just to get to get it out of the way and sleep with my bonnet on. I may have. No, nah, this is going to be good. I was thinking I may have to make this two. But I think I should have made it two. Oh, well, it's in the middle. So 
the middle. I, I don't like a part going down the middle of my head on a twist out. All right. I'll see you guys later. God bless you all. And keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.